Hello everyone and welcome back to Planet Zoo. You might remember there was a building here last episode. Well, <laughs> I've moved it and now it fits in nice and snug with a curved path going to it right at the entrance to our zoo. I've also done a few off-camera edits to bring it up to scratch and make it look a little bit more appealing. We've added some glass panes, made the sign pop a little more and finished off the front planters. As I've said, we don't have a lot at our disposal right now due to a lack of research, but it has this old barn feel about it that I'm really quite happy with. Around the back here we've added a few glass panes, removed the loop path and the planters and now it sits proudly as our first exhibit. Today, I planned to cover our staff area and the information kiosk at the back there, but what I thought I'd do was work on my first proper animal habitat. And I'll probably do a little bit more off camera work to do some finishing touches. Before I do any of that though, it's time to add two more exhibits to the Creepy Crawlies display. We can afford one, but we'll have to take out a small loan to finish the other one off. Just put them right in the middle there, it might lead to a bit of traffic build up in here but once the money's rolling in I plan to redevelop this facility and make it a little more spacious. We're going with two breeds of tarantula in this one, the Mexican red knee and the Brazilian salmon pink. So that's them in place, and just finish off the habitat temperature, get that set. Then the information boards, which should go just on the edges here at the back. I might expand that back area to give it a little bit more space, but we'll leave it for now. probably should have taken out the bigger loan from the off so that was a bit of a mistake but I'll grab the 20k one now and pay off the 5k immediately. Once that's done it's time for a speed build. Okay so we got the basic barriers down and bought three warthogs. We're going to give them a nice big shelter here to give them some privacy but we don't want something square and uniform so we'll curve the wall on one side and give it like a balcony type thing not that the warthogs are going to use it but it looks nice and a big window on two sides i think i'd probably live here though i am a man of simple pleasures So it's looking okay so far and at least it's not a box. Next up we need to put some food and water in and then we can sort out some bushes and grass. I know the watering hole isn't a like necessary requirement but it is nice to put in and the warthogs do seem to enjoy going for a swim so it's a nice addition it also adds a bit more character to the um the habitat itself we've put down a few trees and some reed beds and a few native grasses and next i want to have like a little rock formation jutting out over the watering hole circle of life type stuff <laughs> we'll just pepper a few rocks in and then precision move them into place I think this looks pretty good. It's a small habitat, but it should be enough for a basic setup to keep the animals happy. We'll put a big reed patch right at the back there for some extra privacy, as the barriers are all quite low here.
Uh, we can actually lower them a bit more as they only require, I think, 1.25 meter high barriers. So we'll get that uniform all the way around the enclosure and move on to the education boards and speakers. The education boards and the speakers we want to run along the long path here for now as it provides the best viewing. So I'm just going to remove the path to force the customers down in that direction and we'll link the staff path up with the other side so they can access the habitat. I'll eventually put this back in place. So the habitat's looking good. We'll uh, get a hog some friends, I guess, for some interspecies enrichment. I think a common ostrich would be a good call similar height on the barriers and around a similar size of enclosure so they should match up quite nicely obviously they're also from the same biomes and and habitats so we know that they're going to merge well together we buy a male and a female pairing and we put them in the habitat with the war dogs of course, we're adopting these using conservation points, so we'll be able to give back to the world as part of a breeding program. Although they are pretty common, given the name, so I don't expect to earn much. So the public are starting to look at our new habitat, which is nice. I should probably link up the education boards, I forgot to do that. And a decent inspection report right there. No education at the moment because we don't have kind of like a program set up. So with the ostriches coming in, we're just going to need to adjust the habitat slightly and find a medium that suits both species. We'll start removing some of the large elephant grasses at the back here and just keep jumping between the ostrich and the water until we get to a good point. Oh, so our warthogs are ready to mate apparently, which is great. And I think that might be a nice place to finish. I've just spotted that we've got a broken vending machine to take care of. Probably because I've not hired a mechanic, so we'll do that now. And then we can wrap this up just as it's starting to snow. Maybe we should install some heaters at a later date so that the animals can still roam outside whilst it is snowing. Anyway, we, we can leave that for another time. We've got our exhibit expanded and our basic animal habitat to start us off. I think what I'll do for the next episode is a little bit more off-camera work just to tidy the place up a touch and ready for our next phase of expansion, which I think I'm planning a combined animal and exhibit habitat. So we're going to do reptiles next. I'll be looking to bring in some crocodiles, some lizards, some snakes, 
and make it into kind of like a facility with um I saw something really inspiring on another I think it was a community build challenge and I really liked it they had this almost like a moat going around a reptile center and they had a crocodile pair living in the moat which I thought was really cool so I think I'm going to try and create something like that obviously it's not going to look flash it's going to be pretty basic but I think it's a good way to go and it's going to be a nice combination of two things that could bring in some money for us. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys next time.